Corey Ackley, Hammer Silver Formants. So a couple things we're, we're doing here uh, before we get into the comparison. First of all, I wanted to uh, give a shout out to all my fellow Texans and anyone down here in the South or North, wherever you may be, that was affected by the, uh, the extremely cold weather. So with that said, hope you're all safe. Hope you're all doing well. Next thing I'm doing, I'm trying to make the videos a little bit shorter. So uh, for those of us who have an sh extremely short attention span, trying to clean that up as well. Again, I always ask you watch to the end of the video because in the, in the video, uh, I try to wrap things up and give you any thoughts that I may have. With that said, I want to give another disclaimer uh, up front. Is the things that I'm doing the t in the tests that I'm comparing are, are one data point. And it's one data point on my particular combination. And so those are not absolutes. They're trends. But if it's to be an absolute, then I would say it would take several data points on maybe a couple, three different combinations to say, all right, this exhaust or this intake or this combination, this camshaft works um, better than all the others or within a, a given combination. So I just want to do that. And the reason being is we are, I'm seeing, which well, some I'm a little bit fearful of, people taking some of my words or the videos a little bit um, too literally. And now are, are maybe heading their, their self down the wrong road in regards to um, uh, performance upgrades and such. And so a, a case that happened not too long ago was uh, someone had asked a question about exhaust. Someone shared the video. And then what happened was that that person said, okay, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to modify my factory two to one into a... Correction, my factory cross-country exhaust into a two into one. And 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 I found out I said, listen, I don't recommend you do that. And and the reason being is a factory exhaust is very good. Did I did I put together other exhausts using one a modified cross-country exhaust into a two into one? I can use cross-country, I used a 2008 vision header and did the Bassani make more power? Yes, on my bike with my combination. The stock head pipe on a cross country is very good. And with your average cams and intake and a tune, it doesn't, in my opinion, it's not, you're not going to perform better than that um, by modifying your stock head pipe into a tune one. So there you go. Okay, what we're doing now, so this video is going to uh, happen, and I'm comparing a Bassani two into one. Road Rage head pipe with a modified collector. Basically, I cut that. If you have a Bassani Road Rage for a steel frame, the collector and the muffler is all one piece. I cut that apart, and then I, I tested a series of collector lengths and diameters on my bike to see which performed best. And so that modified collector is 18 inches long, 2.5 inches diameter, and I compared this to a Bassani turnout, 2 and a 2 they got off of eBay. So this is the comparison. Again, not absolute information. This is what happened on my bike. So take it for what it's worth. Just remember, this is just my thoughts. What are your thoughts? You, how do you think they, they compare to my bike? So any thoughts? Do any of you have any thoughts on how you think the Bassani turnouts uh, will compare to a modified two-in-one system uh, using the Bassani Road Rage as a foundation? Well, let's find out. Here, Bassani Road Rage header with a modified Bassani Road Rage two into one collector, 18 inches long, two and a half inches diameter. Here is Bassani turnouts, which is a two and two exhaust with a baffled, uh, with a louvered baffle in it. And this is what we compare on the dyno. Here's the comparison. So, in the green is Bassani. Two into one road rage headers with a modified collector, 18 inches long, two and a half inch diameter. And then in the black or dark green is the Bassani turnouts, two into two exhausts I got off of eBay. And I think I paid $135 for them. So with that said, what you're seeing here is in this example, the modified two into one collector outperform the Bassani turnouts 
everywhere except for down there you know 26 2700 which is a wash but you look there they were seeing about eight to ten foot pounds of torque difference um in the three thirty three hundred range and then you look up top uh, you see the basani's peak horsepower at about 5700 rpms where it, the the turnouts that is whereas the 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 uh, modified two to one collector uh, peaks out about 6,000, and then at 6,000 RPM, there is 11 horsepower difference there. So in this example here, the Bassani 2-into-1 with a modified collector outperformed the Bassani turnouts by a fair amount, for whatever it's worth. Any surprises? Did anyone, uh, before they went, went into this, was there some wishful thinking? Was there anticipation? on which is also perform better. To be honest, I was a little surprised. I expected to see be closer up top. I did not expect to see a difference of, you know, 10, 12 horsepower, 6,000 RPMs. I did expect the two and the one to perform better um, in the mid range. That's normally what happens when you have a two and one, it gives you better mid range. Um, and you don't normally see up top of that big of a difference um, but we did and this and again on my combination i always disclaimer that this was on my combination so on my combination the the modified collector on the bassani road rage exhaust performed better than the bassani turnouts so there you have it for my combination but i'd like to hear what your thoughts are i love to you know when you guys throw comments on there um, enjoy it because again, I'm doing this, I'm sharing, I'm not expecting uh, uh, fame or, or, or to be a celebrity. I just want to share information, but I, the feedback is important because the feedback allows me to know if, if, uh, if I, you know, I can continue to share information or just keep it all myself or whatever the case may be. Um, with that said, again, also hammered steel performance on YouTube. There is a YouTube page there and that's where I also archive the videos and I'll share them across the several of the forums and also on Facebook. And in close out, once again, this was just my thoughts. These are just a single data point on how these two exhausts uh, compare to mine. But for what it's worth, it's not a absolute, this is just a single data point, but we are heading in the right direction with the gasser because Again, I've always been a fan. I think it's uh, sort of the way I uh, grew up. Um, and uh, being in the military and not having a lot of money, I like to do things on the on the cheap. And I don't mean cheap stuff, but I like to do things that doesn't cost a lot of money. And so um, hopefully, you know, some of you all there can relate to it. And it's really nice to put a combination together, not spend a fortune of money, and slowly make gains and produce more power um, than just taking you know your, your hard-earned dollars and just throwing it at parts and throwing it at your bike and hoping for the best. All right, y'all take care. Stay warm, stay safe. Talk to you later.